Dean from Sydney, Australia, Virtual Classroom 01, and we're just going to ask them a few questions. Um, can I ask you guys a general question first? What did you actually learn out of the Virtual Classroom project? Is there anything specific you can think of? Um, teamwork. And you learn like who's going to work and who's not going to work. Yeah. yeah. And how to work as a team. <laughs> and um, like you know more collaborative stuff. Like it's, like you learn like you know to transfer things onto computers and then you'll com collaborate it together. Okay. Tell me about that. I don't know. Like if you created an image and somebody like say the Japanese people created the image. And then and then send it over to us, and I might colour it in. The so, Americans might animate it. Or something. Yeah, the Americans yeah. might have animated. So you learn like the how to spread it between yeah, yourselves. How to trust each other. How to um, lead a team. Like um, some people they, and um, others are um, like too much. So I had to um. Balance spread it out. Yeah, like I'm um, spread the work out like, between. And the how did team. you do that? Um. Giving people like yeah, jobs yeah, um, and groups to go in. To work on stuff like future and stuff yeah. like that. How did you, first of all, how did you decide on what the program was going to be about this year? I don't know, it took us two months or something to decide. Just out there. I don't know, we had a video conference about once a week. Yeah. And DJ Haba Sue. I mean, I think we started, I think the first theme was a detective, yeah, detective theme, theme and then, you know, you bounce off other themes and say add this and delete. Finally it worked its way to what it is. Mm -hmm. and Okay. Like, did you all agree on the theme, and what was it? How did the discussions go on that? We did, we agreed, but then we'd add bits and say, yeah. "Why don't we do this instead of that?" And that, so it was all like agreeing. But yeah, everyone was keen to do the time travel theme. Yeah, the time travel was like the basis of everything, and everything else just evolved around it. And that, there was a feeling in the group at one stage that we'd spent a lot of time just planning and hadn't done anything, and we'd left it too late, and we wouldn't get anything done. How do you think? How do you feel about that now? It's better that we didn't do it really quick, work out the idea, because we could have chosen an idea, worked on it, and then hated the whole thing, and had to start again, so it's better it spending sure. more time. Do you think that the extended planning you did actually helped you collaborate more and help, help yeah, all three yeah, teams all work? I think by the end of like all the collaboration, there was maybe half the team left. Like We started off with 30 and there was only oh, half left. Yeah. So the 15 that were there after two months of just chatting were the ones that wanted to do it. Okay. That brings me to another point, and the word commitment. You do get people that drop out in projects like this, that start it and don't finish it, and then you get other people who follow it right through to the end. Tell me what you've learned about commitment. Oh, you've got to be like, willing to come to all the meetings and conferences and stuff. Because if you don't, it's just and no use. You've got to remember no. one skill to remember things. <laughs> what, what do you think you personally brought to this project? Um, because you were involved in just about everything. You came on the excursions, you, um, you were there for all the planning stages, you were there the last night we finished the whole thing off. Yeah. So what do you think you brought to it? Um, I, I think I just basically, I don't know, I threw a couple that. of ideas in and I helped with most yeah. of the, make, oh, well, not, I don't know. <laughs> I hope I help with some stuff like I don't know pictures. You did a few gifts. Yeah, he was no, there. Yeah, yeah, he was there the first day. Yeah, you're always there. What yeah. about the rest of you? How do you think Chris contributed? Uh, he did lots of pictures for it, even though we did not use all yeah. of them. He used a few. He was always there. Um, yeah, he always turned up to the meetings and. Everything. That's important, isn't it? That, yeah. yeah, that first day last year. I don't know it was end of fourth term, just before we went on Christmas yeah. holidays. I think me, him and Daniel went through three days of just like planning and he was there for that, like he stayed and yeah. lost his lunch time and I think we worked through three lunch times. Yeah. We didn't like, because we didn't have lunch because we were on a roll on that. Okay, I won't pick on everyone with that same question, but Chris, what do you think you brought to the same, the whole project? I know, I wasn't there for so much of the more technical side, but like the major things that happened, I was around like the first day, I think it was the layout, the first day when we decided on the layout, I was there, I started off with the themes and I took some of the workload off him near the end. That was an exciting day. I remember we had a video conference in the morning and we really came away from the video conference thinking that we had some ideas and then you guys took basically the rest of the next three days off from yeah. regular classes planning it. So yes. that was a real turning point, don't you think? Yeah, well, was that was when we actually like started. Like yeah, we had the started pages then. there yeah. and the groups were formed. That's why the collaboration was so good because finally it was all there. 
and we just knew that the pages were there and that was that. I'm going to embarrass Daniel here. I'm not going to ask him to answer it. I'm going to ask the rest of you to answer it. What do you think Daniel brought to the project? Uh, Who's the webmaster? More of the skills. Yeah. 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 The Give talent. us some jobs. The talent with the JavaScripts and that that went on. Just without him, we probably would have had a good page, but not as good. I don't know. Like, like the layout. Flashes. The layout. We had like the vision of the layout was supposed to be. And he knew a lot of things to make a web pages look a lot better. So. <laughs> Do you think Daniel was a good team leader? Yeah. 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 Okay. Can I ask you what? How would you define a good leader? What's a good leader? Someone that um, works on like little bits of everything, um, comes to all the meetings and stuff, and motivates everyone. Yeah. Gets everyone yeah, going. He's got to know pe like know how to talk to different people because I mean, yeah. there was about what 30, 40 people in this group. Like, he knew how to talk to each different one of us. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we could trust him. He'll do everything on time. He was punctual. So and I'm sure the rest of you learnt skills like that as well. It wasn't just Daniel. All of you learnt something along those lines. How useful do you think those sorts of skills are going to be as you move out of school and into the real world? Yeah, because like, we're always going to face like yeah. the language barrier and group work and it's like the starting off point. Yeah. Like you've got a basis on how to yeah. do it. You've got to, you've got to tolerate people. Yeah. You have to trust them. You have to know them. You have to be friends with them. Daniel, what do you think? Um, it'll take over the world, I reckon. Like everything will be based around the internet and computers. Yeah. And technology. Yeah. And do you think you guys are well placed to deal with that world? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we've like come into the internet young and like know it fairly well now. So we'll be able to like advance with it. Yeah, we can only so much more. I didn't know much about computers before I started, and now I do. Like I've learnt how to use programs better, and like different programs, what they can do. Yeah. Okay. Daniel, what did you learn from the whole thing? Um, leadership. Um, a lot of things. Like I'm, you're always learning. You're always I'm discovering new things and how they work. Yeah. So. Have you learnt the dreams come true? <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> what did you learn, Eric? Um, teamwork, patience, trusting, how to be punctual, how to remember things, how to use the internet, and yeah, mostly skills. Yeah. Chris, how much do you reckon your computer skills went up as oh, a about percentage? 80, 90. Because yeah. like, you want to know how to do something so you feel like money. Yeah, you just, you just want to do it. You yeah. just want to keep on learning until you know everything about that part you want to learn about. What did you think about video conferencing? Um, I think it's a lot easier to talk to people than over the phone and stuff like that because you can, uh, you can send them. them stuff straight away, you can see them, you can hear them, and yeah. it's like practically they're just next to you, next to you in the yeah, computer. Yeah, you get a better reaction of what they think about something, like, like, like I mean, the facial expressions and that. Yeah. yeah. You get a better idea of where you're going. We were lucky actually because we did get to get a couple of conferences where we had all three schools. Yeah. We managed to work out the time difference pretty well, didn't we? Yep. And it wasn't the Japanese, I think, one hour before us or after us. Two hours behind us. Something like So pretty close time. So that's yeah, good. we were lucky the times fitted in with each other when mm. we could do it. So finally then, if you had any piece of advice to a school that was thinking about going in something like this next year, what piece of advice would you give them? Go for Daniel? it. Do it. Yeah. Um, stay committed. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't give up. I think we, like, we did it the best way because, I mean, we might have spent a lot of time collaborating, but when we finally got down to it, the people that were with were the people that wanted to work. Uh -huh. So they like, think about it well before. I think they should do it because they they might not think at the time, but they will learn maybe yeah. Yeah. many skills. Yeah, yeah. Maybe Seventy percent of what they already knew, they learn on top of that. So like they learn a lot more. More skills than you thought of they would have made. And so even instead of like if you just like did like work experience, you'd learn a few skills, but if you did some more extra like virtual classroom and stuff like that, you'll learn even more, which will help you to get a job in the future. Yeah. And if you didn't enjoy it at the start, just stick with it and you'll end up loving it, I think, because that's what happened with me. I so is this the education of the future? Yeah. 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 Yeah? Better than normal school? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks guys.